Developing news tonight, we're getting fresh polling information in the California governor's race. On the Democrat side, the race appears to be tightening up. KCO9 political reporter Dave Bryan is here now with the new information that was just out a few minutes ago. Dave? This, you know, this is really going to be a good race. And it's funny how everything has been blotted out by the news from Washington sure. and the Trump administration. But I think that's going to be changing now in the coming weeks. The new poll tonight from the Public Policy Institute of California, PPIC, shows the two well-known Democrats are running neck and neck in the race to become the next governor of California. But the poll comes out just 24 hours after three Republican candidates for governor opened a new attack tax strategy on the leading Democrats and their alleged personal behavior. Well, no, that's, that's the governor and the legislature, as progressive as they've been. A new poll just released Wednesday night shows the race for California governor could go down to the wire, with Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom and former L.A. Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa leading the pack. Oh, yes. The poll of likely California voters shows Newsom with 23 percent and Villaraigosa with support from 21 percent of those who were polled, with nearly a quarter of the voters, 24 percent, undecided. The five other major candidates are in single figures. The poll was taken up to a week ago. USC professor Ange Marie Hancock Alfaro says the poll reflects what most analysts believe will be the case right up to election day. This has pretty much been a two man race from the very beginning, um, and uh, it's only going to keep tightening. Is that a legitimate issue that you would use against him? But when the San Francisco Chronicle editorial page editor asked three Republican candidates for governor at a forum last night if they would raise issues of marital infidelity in the campaign, it opened the door to a series of attacks against the two major Democratic candidates. Former California Congressman Doug Osi from Sacramento went after Newsom, noting that he was the mayor of San Francisco at the time he had an affair with the wife of his campaign manager. The husband left the building, and Gavin Newsom somehow or another found himself in a situation alone with this woman doing stuff that shouldn't have been done. It's predatory, and it's corrupt, and it needs to stop. And the only way to do it is take them out of office. Newsom has apologized on many occasions, including this week at a candidate forum in San Francisco on Monday. But another Republican said apologies aren't enough. I take issue with Mr. Newsom just passing it off as an indiscretion of his and a moral lapse. It was far, far more than that. It was an endangerment to his position as a leader of this city. And Republican State Assemblyman Travis Allen raised the issue of Villaraigosa's 20-year marriage ending amid reports that he was having an affair with a TV news reporter when he was mayor. Both of them have you know, some pretty serious marital infidelities. This is a real issue. What we're looking at is the moral character of these people. But Allen may have a credibility problem himself, charging the moral character of these people is at stake. This week, Allen's name surfaced when the state legislature released records on sexual harassment investigations. He was accused of inappropriately touching one of his staffers who charged that during a briefing, he slid his foot over so that it was touching hers. The document says Allen did not recall the complaint. Professor Hancock Alfaro says the Republicans would like to link the leading Democrats to the current Me Too wave against sexual harassment and abuse to knock out at least one of them from getting into the November runoff. I'm not sure that marital affairs between consenting adults can kind of get wrapped up into, you know, kind of the public attention towards sexual misconduct. Um, and so I think that's what the Republican candidates were trying to do last night was to kind of join forces in that critique of the Democratic candidates as they compete themselves to kind of be what will likely be the number two person on the ballot. Now, just to be clear, Assemblyman Travis Allen, who is the leading Republican in tonight's gubernatorial poll, has said that incident cited in the legislative records was an unsubstantiated complaint. The woman who filed the complaint said the incident happened during a briefing. Jeff, Andrea, back to you.